Welcome back guys. In this video we're going to be looking at how this tulip drawing was done using three of the four techniques from the previous video. Uh, for this project what you'll need is a pencil with an eraser, some colored pencils, some drawing paper, and some tissue paper. I selected a reference photo of a tulip that I wanted to work with and I began by lightly sketching it in using a regular pencil. Take your time when you're sketching. Um, keep everything light, make whatever changes you need to, because once you start adding the color pencils, it's much more difficult to erase any mistakes. Select the color pencils that you plan to use to finish the product, as well as a regular pencil. Make sure they're all nice and sharp and ready to go. Establish where you want the light source to be, so that you know which sections of the flower are going to be light, which areas are going to be dark, and then of course the area between them is your midtones. Okay, now it's just a matter of using the three techniques that we used in the previous um, video, three of the four techniques, to start adding lights, midtones, and shadows. Don't forget that you can also use a regular pencil when you want to do some areas, some antiquing, to make certain areas darker. So I started with the yellow because yellow was the lightest color, and then I've moved on to the yellow-orange. It's easier to start with the light colors and then build up your shadows gradually because color pencils are see-through. If you start off with a dark value and then you try to make it lighter, it's very, very difficult. But if you start off light, you can always darken it. You can always add new colors to darken it. So here you can see I started with yellow, then yellow-orange, then a reddish, and then for the shadow side, I'm using... Uh, dark red and I'm pressing firmly. So this first technique is your color mixing technique. When you're working with color pencils you're working with wax basically so you have to build it up gradually. I do one petal at a time following my lights and my shadows. If you notice here, where I did the, um, the shading with the pencil first, when I add the red color right on top of it, the orange color right on top of it, it makes it look much, much darker. The stem is done exactly the same as the bulbs on the top. So, establish the light source, you know, put in your lights, and then start adding in your shadows. Build them up gradually and blend them into each other so that they look nice and smooth. I followed the same process when I did the leaf. The little dip in the leaf, I actually did a little shading with a regular pencil first and then when I put a green on top of it, it automatically made it look darker. When you are done with the flower, go ahead and start working on the background. So what I'm doing here in the background is I took a regular pencil, it's like a 4B pencil, and I blocked it in. Once I finished blocking it in, I grabbed a tissue paper and I started to soften everything up just because I didn't want a lot of texture in the background. I want this to look more like a vignette in the background.
Take your time and try to get this background to look as smooth as you possibly can. Once the background is done, go back and edit your drawing. Uh, you may have to clean up some of the edges, you may have to darken up some of your shadows because your contrast will have changed between the background and the flower. Notice that I use a piece of paper, a spare piece of paper, underneath my hand to minimize smudging. I don't want the graphite to get on top of the uh, color pencils. I want to create, I want to keep that looking pretty clean. Continue editing your work until you are satisfied with the result. Just a few finishing touches and we'll be done. Give this one a try. You don't need any special equipment, just pencil, color pencils, paper, and tissue. Thanks for watching.